Welcome back to lesson two. In this particular uh, lesson, we're going to use the adjustments to adjust our tone of the image. Notice how hazy the image looks, not very bright. Let me go ahead and zoom in by using the Alt key and mouse scrolling up so we can see the image a little bit closer. So now we're going to go to the adjustments pane on the right hand side. We're going to left click once and we are going to either use the curves or we can use the levels. I'm going to go ahead and use the levels to adjust the level of the white balance in this particular image. Notice we have the dark, the light and the mid tones. When we drag one or the other, you'll see the image is getting darker as we dra dragging the, the dark. Let's drag the light. We are actually overexposing the light side of the image. And this is the midtones. Well, let's go ahead and use an eyedropper tool to select an automatic way to adjust for lightness. Now I'm going to use the light and I'm going to pick something on this image that is representing the white balance that I like. In this particular case, I can use where uh, this white stripe on the girl's back, you can see the light is hitting it, or the back of the shirt on the child that is being held. I'm going to go ahead and left click once and you'll notice the whole image will lighten up. There we go. We just adjusted the levels for the image. If you want to see the image adjustment with the histogram using, using the curves, there it is, there's the histogram in the background. That's the same histogram that we see right over here, except it's a little condensed. And these are our curves. Again, darks and lights, that's our light, that's our dark. And we can create and bend this curve to the way we want to bend it. See that? You have the same tools, the light and the dark tools, dark, mid-tones, lights, to do exactly the same adjustments that we did a few minutes ago. I just went ahead and clicked delete to delete the curve and the curves got deleted. Making sure I have it adjusted, perfect. And now I'm going to close the panel. When you look at all of these different adjustments that we were doing, you'll notice it creates a different layer. We are now looking at the layers. We went from adjustments back to layers. Notice every time we try to create a different adjustment, it created a different layer. Notice there's an eyeball on each particular layer. If you wanna see how it was looking, Turn off the eyeballs. I'm going to go ahead and delete three of the layers that I'm not going to need. I selected the layers. I'm left dragging to the trash can. If I want to readjust my curves, I double click, select the eyedropper and the level gets readjusted. 